Good morning, YouTube. This is a video response to YouTuber T. Darnell. Uh, he posted a video around January 28th of this year. I know I'm a little bit late, but I just watched the video a couple days ago. He was talking about the Challenger explosion and what we remembered from it. And I remember I was a little kid. I don't even remember what grade I was in. I think it was third grade. Uh, so there's not much that we knew about it when we were in class, but we certainly found out about it after school. Of course, it was my big brother who's two years older than me. He's the one that actually broke the news to me and how, uh, uh, how bad it was that this shuttle exploded in mid-flight. And I didn't really put too much thought into it until uh, just a couple years ago when I started my college education. I started my teacher education courses. And I really paid attention to some of the teachers that really, really inspired me. Of course, Kristen McCullough, who was uh, slated to be the first teacher in space that uh, perished on that uh, in that disaster. Um, it also goes like Jaime Escalante from the movie uh, Stand and Deliver was also a very big inspiration to me. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away a couple years ago, so I'll never be able to have the chance to tell him that. I have watched the, the video, not only the video of the explosion itself, but, but uh, President Reagan in his uh, responses address to the American people and one quote that he made in that speech was and I'll never forget this one that there will be other teachers in space now I'm calling them on that bluff as you can see from the title of this video I wanted to be that teacher in space in a lot of ways, I still do. And of course, this isn't that much of a career killer for me that I'm just going to, you know, drop out of my education courses because I can't be the first teacher in space. Because the reasons why I wanted to become a teacher are far more important than any of this uh, you know, pipe dreams of like going to space and anything like, like that. I want to become a teacher because I feel that I can make a positive difference in the lives of others and I can inspire my future students to use their education their resources uh, to change the world and make the world a better place but uh, the end of these space missions is going to put a damper in my ability to inspire my students because when I was growing up we can talk about astronauts we can talk about space exploration and everything that that meant for us we can reach out, we can touch a star. See that star right there? I'm gonna go to that star someday. And if I can go to that star, what else can I do? Anything that I can plan, any goal that I have set for myself, I can achieve. I can I can do anything that I wanna do. I could be anyone that I wanna be. I can go anywhere that I wanna go. But what the hell am I supposed to tell students now? You can do anything that you want to do, unless what you want to do is pilot a space shuttle. You can be anyone that you want to be, as long as the person that you want to be is not an engineer on the International Space, space Station. You can go anywhere that you want to go, as long as where you want to go is not the surface of Mars. Mr. Dunnell, you keep telling us to keep looking up. Now I'm calling your bluff. I'm asking you what's next. Even if you have to lie to me, tell me that this is not over. Tell me that, that we're just waiting on new technology. Tell me that I will be a teacher in space, that I will have some message that I can take my students and say, yes, you can aspire to great things, that you can do anything that you want. Tell me that I can give the message to my students that they can keep looking up. 